Now, six months ago, some of them couldn't even skate. But now, a group of Somali refugees in Sweden have taken to the ice to play bandy, a northern European sport similar to ice hockey. The Somali team are about to compete in the sports world championships for the first time, and they'll be the first ever African team to do so. It might sound a bit like a version of the film Cool Runnings, but it's also a bit of an experiment in Swedish social cohesion, as our sports correspondent Kamian Zerum reports. Bande, a traditional northern European relative of ice hockey. On the face of it, as Swedish as pickle herring and social tolerance. But there's something rather unusual happening here. <laughs> Somalia join hands, they sing. Belting out their national anthem is the Somali national bande team and one of their Swedish coaches, toasting home from a small snowy town called Borolanga. For they are refugees and they're about as far as one could imagine from Mogadishu. And in a few weeks, they'll be the first ever African team to compete in the Bande World Championships, further away still in Siberia. This is a history, a huge history. You know, from they have never been an African nation who played in ice hockey or bandy or things like that. And then consider this. Do you feel more Swedish? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because of uh, 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 Swedish people, they, they 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 see what we can do. They see we can uh, uh, play their their sports. I feel like uh, I'm close to them. Like. Uh, I have more friends than I have uh, when I was playing football, so it's kind of special to me. Which is precisely the point. The action on the pitch, the learning in the classroom about the sport's history, is a very Swedish experiment in social integration. Like much of Europe, migration has put pressure on the welfare state and moved politics to the right. This team was formed quite deliberately to build community bridges. Why are you doing this? I'm doing it for me and for my children because I, I, this is selfish. I want to stay in Bolanje. I want this to be a nice place. And then somebody got to do something. And uh, the Swedish people can't do it alone. And the Somali people can't do it alone. So we have to do something together. This might be liberal Sweden, but life as a refugee isn't straightforward. Many of these kids have fled horrific violence. They may have seen family and friends murdered. The Somali Bandir team captain teaches at this school for new arrivals. Despite their reputation for tolerance, the Swedes, he says, can be aloof. I have uh, uh, met, met uh, 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 many people who say uh, uh, Swedish people, they don't talk too much. They don't talk to you when you say, uh, when you want to integrate them. Integration. The rise of the right has put Sweden's famous tolerance under pressure. This controversial political campaign video shows women wearing burqas chasing a pensioner for benefits. It was produced not long ago by a new force in Swedish politics, far-right nationalists. They didn't want to talk to Channel 4 News. Borrelanger's left-wing mayor did, however. The people are afraid. They, usually people are afraid for something new. And when you, something new come, come in the society, new people come. Uh, you need some time. You need to meet the new people. You need to, to, to understand them. And uh, you, you need to, to find something together. And he claims there are sound reasons to welcome the refugees. Social cohesion is one thing, cold, hard economics another. His city's population is ageing. Its factories need a young workforce. It may sound crass, he explained, but Somalis have lots of kids. And what many young men in particular share is a love of sport. So Borolanger's Somali football team were invited to try Bande earlier this year. The imam at the local mosque now offers benedictions to bless this unlikely new community sport. But at first, everyone thought it was a joke. What on earth does a refugee from Mogadishu know about ice? Just six months ago, few of them could even skate.
they weren't that good, they weren't serious about it, but now like there's a lot of people that want to be in the team. Huh? Yeah. But before they were like laughing at them, they were like, no, you can't make it. It hasn't been easy. Some local businesses agreed to give them vital sponsorship, but only on the quiet. They don't want a backlash for being seen to support immigrants. But thus far, despite heavy losses in their practice games, Borolanga's Somali bandy project is on to a win. Yeah, I have to say kind of a little bit. I feel that sometimes when I'm putting on things like shirt like these shirts and it's and it makes the skate you is, yeah you feel it because you you're like i'm not i'm not a somali anymore somali or otherwise they debut at the bande world championships at the end of the month after which they'll come back home here sport meets social integration swedish style <laughs> Kami Enzerum, Channel 4 News, Borolanga.